And now let's understand what is virtual DOM. So first I got these images from internet just by googling and if you know the source of real source of this image then please tell me so that I can give the credit to the creator of this images so that he will get some benefit and I don't want to trap into some stealing part. So considering that I'm going to use these images and before moving to the virtual DOM let's go here and we can see we have these HTML and some stylings also but in this elements if I inspect this we have this body we have this div all these HTML tags these are called DOM or simply document object model all the HTML tags here are called document object model but from where virtual DOM came into action so virtual DOM is actually created by react and since it is having a name of virtual DOM that means it is virtual it is not real because react hold all the information of the DOM you have then the, the important part of react is it can remove or add some HTML into your DOM to remove or to add something into your DOM react actually need to track your original DOM with its virtual DOM so virtual DOM is actually a replica of original DOM you have so whenever we change something on react that actually change happen inside this virtual DOM not in real DOM so when we have changes in any component then react compare virtual DOM with the real DOM and if there is some changes like this has changed this component has changed then it will update the real DOM in one go let me explain you this by having another image once again if you know the source of these images please tell me I will give the credit to that person since we have this virtual DOM initially you can see both virtual DOM this one and the real DOM has all same nodes or same HTML tags but we have some changes on this one so you can see this is green colored then we have changes on this component so all the children component of that particular component will also be updated in that way we have two node which are updated then at this point react compare its virtual DOM with the browser DOM that means the real DOM when react comparing these two then react found that these two nodes are different from real DOM and the virtual DOM finally react re-render everything and at the last both virtual DOM and browser DOM comes at the same state that means having exactly same things so this is virtual DOM but why react has added virtual DOM so you can see it is very efficient when we have some changes then we do the changes so after changing everything then finally we are updating the real DOM or the browser DOM suppose we are directly updating on browser DOM then what happened if there are 10 changes in one go then you need to change the browser DOM or update the browser DOM for 10 times but here react detect that there are 10 changes okay do all the 10 changes in virtual DOM and then at last update the real DOM only once so since this is a virtual DOM updating a virtual DOM is super fast and that's why react has implemented this virtual DOM concept.